after listening few clinical cases and uh, companies, uh, especially IOCL, uh, see after seeing video clip that uh, it was really very good. And <clears throat> today I am going to say about K. First of all, uh, I am very privileged and proud to be here as a uh, speaker and thanks to whole AUSD team for awarding the Second Oil India Oration Award and uh, happy uh, to see you all physically after since a long time, since three years of pandemic and still we are in pandemic uh, period. <coughs> So need to uh, need to uh, take care of uh, all COVID appropriate behaviors. Our Yale India Limited was formed 38 years back on 16th August 1984, and with the vision and mission of enhancing quality of life through clean energy and beyond. This is our three decades of growth. Uh, now, Yale is having a Maharatna status uh, within 30 years of uh, its age. Uh, this is three decades of uh, growth during the vision and mission of enhancing quality of life uh, through clean energy and beyond. Yale started from laying HPG pipeline, then CGD petroleum plant, LNG transport, and supporting by this supporting Indian economy through different projects and pipelines like Prime Minister Urja Ganga pipelines, etc. Yale has global presence in five other countries: USA, Russia. China, Egypt, and Myanmar, and Singapore, six countries other than India. And these all activities were completed by our proud human capital team of 4,717 4, employees, out of which 80% uh, employees are professionals and their average age is 43 years. To protect our employees from lifestyle diseases and chronic diseases and to promote their health and well-being, we organize different uh, programs. Um, as soon as an employee joins our company, we have free employment health checkups in detail. Then every year we check up their health uh, by doing annual health checkup or occupational health checkup. Then we do employee sensitization through awareness lectures, emails, posters in various offices and work centers of the Health camps for all employees and contract workers for prevention and early diagnosis of disease behind. Then we do counseling session for high risk group of employees, monthly checkups in medical OPD once a month for monitoring weight, EMI, blood pressure, blood sugar and counseling for life station, lifestyle modification. We have training program also for employees working in different work centers. These are few glimpses of Gale Pata Hospital and this is Gale Vijaypur Hospital doing annual health checkups. Beyond employee health and well-being, we focus on health and well-being of community along gate pipelines and installations to CSR. CSR is the commitment of business to contribute to sustainable economic development, working with local community and society at large to improve their quality of life in ways that are good both for business and for international development. CSR is a business approach that contributes to sustainable development by delivering economic, social 
and environmental benefits of all stakeholders. We have seven focus areas in CSR, uh, which name as Gail Yudai. This is a CSR umbrella, and we focus on seven uh, areas. First, Arogya, Ujjwal, Shashak, Kaushal, Unnati, Harit, and Saksha. Majority of our uh, CSR expenditure, we uh, contribute towards Arogya and Ujjwal. This, uh, during COVID pandemic, it is uh, contributed in uh, PMKF funds. That is why others, others column is high. And through Arugya, first of our project is uh, medical, mobile medical units. This is envisioned as the solution for the issue of lack in primary health facilities for the rural area, especially communities who are uh, staying in, uh, in and around the pipelines, uh, we do CSR activities in those communities. Then Gail started this initiative in 2008 and 9 with 6 MMUs and now at present we have 60 MMUs under operation and which covers 44 districts and 13 states of India. Each van caters 25,000 people on an annual basis and thus total beneficiaries are approximately 15 lakhs per annum. These MMUs are operated through a uh, highly qualified team of professionals, doctors and paramedical staff. This includes uh, doctor consultation, medicines, free medicines, uh, diagnostic tests, refer to advanced health care, health education and awareness, and uh, distribution of free sanitary napkins under Moksha initiative. These are a few glimpses, few photographs of Pata and Manipur, Nalabari in uh, Assam. Then second project is TV free project in response to gay government call for a TV free India. Gail has launched TV free Pata project in January 2018 at Pata District Korea, UP. The project followed a 360 degree model having provisions of uh, awareness, screening, MDR diagnosis, and nutrition support for TB patients. Project components are uh, LED microscopy, X ray, Sebinat, and uh, machine and confirmatory tests. Then under this initiative, approximately 9 lakh beneficiaries were benefited and covering approximately 300 villages from said 4 districts. These are few glimpses of the camp and other than this, we have STI and HIV prevention, testing and treatment facilities for truckers which are coming, our uh, Pata plant, petrochemical plant and Vijaypur plants. This uh, photograph is showing awareness lectures conducted at Vijaypur on 1st December on the vacation of World AIDS Day. Under Arogya Health Care and Sanitation, healthcare facilities in the form of provision of medical equipments and infrastructure, uh, we do a diagnosis and cure of TB patients, we organize awareness camps and then HIV AIDS and uh, STI awareness also and provision of nutritional kits also we have. Then drinking water facilities extended at various schools, villages across 12 districts of UP, MP, Andhra Pradesh and Uttarakhand. Through installations of over 280 hand pumps and water coolers and auto plants. Then rehabilitation interventions by distribution of aids and assistive devices to the Vyanjans. This program is carried out in intended locations first through an initial assessment camp was the requirement of the district and location and then assessment camps uh, were followed by distributed distribution camps to distribute aids and assistive devices to the identified beneficiary. Since 2015-16 support has been provided uh, till date we, 
we have provided support to then we have set up MMUs at GTI, our training institute also during COVID time. And CSR in action against COVID-19, we have just contributed rupees 50 crore towards PM care fund for COVID care treatment. Nearly 15,000 PTE kits distributed and 50,000 sanitizer and 3 lakhs masks, 48,000 gloves were distributed. COVID kits consisting of everything uh, distributed in multiple locations across country. Medical equipment such as ventilators, multi-parameter monitoring equipment, pulse oximeter provided to hospitals across the country. And CSR gave it supported uh, in the procurement of uh, 1,000 oxygen concentrators. These activities also being carried out jointly with other oil and PSUs. Gale is supporting in the import of liquid medical oxygen by aiding the, in the hiring of ISO containers for transport of liquid oxygen. Gale has supported in supply of 75 beds to COVID care center at Rajamundri, where we have our own plants also. Setting up COVID care center at Chandigarh, providing oxygen cylinder at government hospital, Guna. Two fully staffed medical uh, units, mobile medical units with doctor, pharmacist, lab technician, driver deployed at GTI Noida to assess the gain COVID by the patient. These are few glimpses of distributing masks, gloves, and sanitizers to medical staff in the government hospital in Noida. Then these are the photographs of uh, Karaikar, which is our one of the work center. This, these pictures are from Delhi and CR, Karnataka, then Bangalore, then Uttar Kashi, Pata, and Guna. So, uh, I think in the organization, when we care for our employees and their dependents, it is our duty, it is our a moral that we do, wish must do CSR for the communities which are uh, which are staying in and around our plant site our pipeline uh, installations and CSR is nothing but business with ethics for development of communities and nation thank you <coughs>